it's yours truly, Zara Elise, and today we are baking some holiday goods. Are you ready? Yes, we're back in the kitchen. I know it's not my expertise, but if you know me, you know I enjoy eating. So today we are making, can I get a drum roll please? Oh man. <laughs> we are making mini pumpkin pies with some homemade whipped cream. Yes, sounds delicious, right? You're gonna need a bunch of shit. <laughs> You're gonna need your spices, your cinnamon, your nutmeg, your ground cloves, your ground ginger. You need some vanilla, some salt. You'll need your pie crust. You can make them from scratch or not. Today, I'm not making them from scratch because, well, you know, it would make a big mess. I don't feel like cleaning it up and it would take a long time. So. Just go ahead and buy those pie crusts and um, some pumpkin and heavy whipping cream, some brown sugar, the light kind, and uh, one egg. Make sure this stuff is room temperature now, all right? The first step is rolling out your pie crust and making your little pie crust. <laughs> the only problem I see with this well, there's a few problems that I'm gonna foresee, but one of them particularly is I don't have a rolling pin. It's, I don't know, I don't know, we just don't have to squish it. So I got some parchment paper down, just to be kind of like more sanitized, I guess. I chose this recipe because um, I've never done it before, <laughs> and I like little small things because I'm American. Like we're obsessed with little cute small things. So, you know, I like pumpkin pie. So is one of the reasons because your acting coach told you to dress us up as a mom? Well, do I look like a mom to you? Answer the question. No, you do not. <laughs> what you're getting there. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, let me butter these. Let me butter these biscuits. Now, let me butter the pan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, butter. Shout out to the butter. You know, your hair does look like a mom right now. I don't know what she woke up and chose violence today for, but... So don't forget, preheat your oven 400 degrees. How often do you make like desserts like this? Um, only a few times a year. Usually when I'm with my family, they're always gonna request a pie, cookies, or cake, or two of the three. Uh, back in the day, I used to do a lot of um, baking. So yeah, they miss it and they love it. What do we have here? Well, we have our crust. Do you think this is the same thing as a muffin tray? Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments. It looks like it's about a couple inches deep. Well, they told me to use a muffin tray, so I hope that this is a muffin tray. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the excess flour off. What happened there? I got flour in my eye. How did it feel? It's painful. This does not feel good. So I don't suggest it. What you up to next? Well, we got four more little guys, so. They do make mini pie crusts, but I decided not to get them because I wanted to try this method. So. I really need to look up, is a muffin tin the same thing as a cupcake tin? All right, looks like we're down to the last two, huh? Finally. Are you excited? Uh, there's a lot more to do, so. No. 
I'm excited to eat them. So what were the other choices between this one uh, that you were choosing from? Well, the other choices were mini pecan pies, which I would have definitely loved those. Why are you making these then? Well, because I, ha I think I have a better chance of Chelsea eating these over the pecan ones. Why? She doesn't like nuts. Hmm. Go figure. All right, so basically with the excess, you can make more if you want after you bake them or not. What are you going to do with it? I haven't decided. I want to have another cupcake. Yeah. While we make the ingredients, we'll put this back in the refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> Guys, she has handprints of crust on her booty. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mainly because she had to clean her eye out. <laughs> yeah. Sandy right. cheeks. Okay. We are headed to the dry ingredients, which means we'll be using our dry measuring stuff as opposed to our wet measuring stuff. Yes, there's a difference. A lot of people don't know that. What's the difference? A, no idea. <laughs> All right, we're starting with the half teaspoon of cinnamon. Three hours later. Okay. What are we doing? Half teaspoon of ground ginger, gotta open it up. Such a mess. I am. This is why when I cook for my family, they have to clean up. That's the rules. That's selfish. Why? Don't you think, guys? No. And your household is the same person that cook clean? In mine, yes. Terrible. A half teaspoon of net nutmeg. Nutmeg. Are these all new? A lot of them are new because I didn't have all of the ingredients. Only for YouTube. Only for YouTube. Make help me make my investment back, people. Send some super chats. My eyes still hurt from that <laughs> flower. <laughs> <laughs> all right, half teaspoon of nutmeg. An eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Now, an eighth, this is a fourth. A fourth is a half of an eighth. I don't see an eighth on here. Looks like we're just gonna have to clean it. All right, yeah, you definitely don't wanna put too much cloves in because it's a very strong spice. Mm, but it reminds me, it's so, it's so festive. It is so festive. All right. Hopefully it's an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh no, can't trust it. <laughs> All right. And a fourth teaspoon of salt. Some salt? Yeah. I wonder if this is finely grained enough, but... Oh well, Chelsea's eating it. Send help. <laughs> so it calls for a half cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put in a little less than a half cup of brown sugar, only because I plan on putting some condensed milk in this, which is really sweet. So, I like the C&H brand that has the resippable ones. Target needs to get on it. Is this the last dry ingredient? It is. I'm just mixing those dry ingredients together. Is this something you learned from like your relatives or? 
Like, what, what, why would you mix it before putting a wet in there? Well, we don't want clumps. Like, anytime you put wet and dry stuff together, it's bound to get clumpy. So, uh, I'm just trying to avoid extra whisking and such. Okay. What happened? Nothing. It's perfect. Everything was perfect. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. So now that we have our perfect egg, what are we doing next? Ah! We are getting our pumpkin puree. This is not pumpkin pie filling. This is puree of pumpkin, okay? There's a difference. And this is calling for one cup. All right, one. got that bad boy open. Yep, I'm gonna get one cup. So how long does this usually take? No idea. No, like how long does it take to bake? Oh, so to bake, it's gonna take 16 to 20 minutes and then you're supposed to cool them for 30. And technically after that 30 minutes, you're supposed to put them in the refrigerator sealed for three hours but after that 30 minutes they're going in my belly what's next well what's next is the milk leche so i'm going to mix some heavy whipping cream and some condensed milk. Who doesn't love some condensed milk now? Mm, mm, mm. All right. I'm gonna mix these two. We're ready for whisking. We're going to whisk the wet ingredients together, but not like too much because we don't want to overbeat the egg. It will cause the pies to crack. And now we are going to add it. I'm going to add just a tiny more. Ready. I usually like to do a little bit at a time, so it's not too hard. We're going to taste this batter and see if it needs anything. Tastes pretty good to me. Honestly, I feel like I could use a little more pumpkin. But that's just me. Now that I've tasted it, I am going to add just a tiny bit more pumpkin, a tiny bit more nutmeg, and maybe some vanilla. Yeah. Can I try? Sure. Oops. I didn't get a good one. Give me another one. Thank you. Mmm, yummy. Not bad? Not bad. I like and we're back with Zara Elise and Mini Pumpkin Pies. Okay, so we're gonna fill up our pie crust. It's about two tablespoons. I'm gonna assume this is a actual tablespoon of filling. Are you ready? I feel like one is enough. 
I don't know. It's like how much you want your pie to crust ratio, you know? I think one is enough. Maybe one and another and dab. dab. <laughs> dab. One and a dab. So what is your favorite, like, holiday treat? Man, I love... I do love some pies. I love them all, though. Like, I love apple pie with some vanilla ice cream. It has to be warmed up, of course. I love some pumpkin pie with some homemade whipped cream. Love some pecan pie. I love some lemon pie. I'll take a chocolate cake with a nice whipped cream frosting. Um, yeah. So it's safe to say you don't have one favorite. Hell no. How could you? So not only are you a food junkie, you're a sweets junkie too. Oh, yeah. Yep. I try not to keep sweets in my house. Because... Hence why she bought a big old container to give me the rest of these to go, guys. Yeah. I don't even like sweets like that. Well, but pumpkin maybe, like that. Maybe your other household members will eat them. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? We're putting it in the oven, 400 degrees, for 16 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's time to take the mini pumpkin pies out of the oven. Are you ready? Here we are. It's the first batch and the only batch so far, so we're, we'll see. We're gonna take them out in just a couple minutes and put them on the rack for cooling. But until then, it's time to make our whipped And let the whipping begin. It takes a couple minutes. Alright. It's starting to fluff up. Now, the reason you don't want to over whip is because you'll turn it into butter. A lot of people don't know that. That's how you make butter. Heavy whipping cream. Beating a long time. We're gonna add some powdered sugar. Whoa. Maybe it wasn't cold enough. It wasn't. It's not, it's, it's not turning into whipped cream. It's turning into butter. <sighs> yeah, I passed the whipping part. Damn it! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just order some whipping cream. All right, what happened? Well, my cream turned into butter because it was too warm. So we had to order a whole new one because. Um, that was everything. But it's here and we're gonna get it going. I swear this video, oh my gosh, I hope we're able to prove whether or not she can actually make whipped cream because you gotta redeem yourself. Because this right here, I, I legit swore you were just going to get a can of whipped cream and say, you know what, this is, this is it, this is what we're gonna do. Who do you think I am? <sighs> clearly not Martha Stewart. Well, clearly I'm Paula Dean then. <sighs> not Miss Dean. How are we liking it? Delicious. Care to try? Sure. Why not? Don't take the whole thing. Nope. It kind of tastes like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. Brava. She redeemed herself. <laughs> Did you ever doubt yourself? Not for one second. Yeah, yeah. I am putting the whipped cream on. You can put as much as you want. You might want a lot, you might want a little. Go crazy and enjoy. Thanks for making these mini pumpkin pies with me. Time to 
try it. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gotta take this home because I'll eat them all. Thanks for joining me. Bacon with Z today. I hope you make these for your loved ones this holiday. Thanks for joining me. Bye.